So we're in Santiago Airport, we're going from Santiago to Easter Island. We checked in, given all our luggage, but we have to fill in all these immigration forms. Um, it looks like, I mean I can't read Spanish, but it looks like some sort of new rules for the first of August. Um, and we're just queuing up. There was a big queue, but as we have the babies, and fast track. Yay, I'll pick up a couple of and then group. We're in Island. Thank you for joining us on this trip, and we we'll look forward to board and another on the flight. So have a great day. We just got off the plane at Easter Island. And I got you! And yeah. check out the view. There's Daddy and Zaki and Emiliana with their new sunglasses. Come straight out of our hostel Via Rotto, and this is our gorgeous view of the Easter Island. And there are some carvings right over there on the right. Hi right, guys, all right, so we're currently in Easter Islands. Um, the island apparently you can drive around the whole island within about two and a half hours. So the hostel we're staying at, the guy said it might be a good idea to go and hire a car out and to go and check out different parts of the island. So we hired our car out, let's go check it out and see what it is. Kids have got their car seats ready, we've not had a car since I think maybe Mexico, so it's been quite a while now that we've got our car. We're going to go around the island, let's go check it. Jimmy. It's a bit strange because we're on the right side on a left hooker car so having to drive a manual on this side is a bit strange but we'll be fine I'm sure. In true island style we've come across a whole bunch of horses just chilling. This one's kind of giving us evils and I'm, I don't know babe, should we drive past it? Go slowly, be fine. I don't know babe. Hola. Hola. Ciao. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love this just wild horses. Yeah. It's great. De Pescal Pesqua or Easter Islands and before you can enjoy the majority of the sites here you need to purchase a ticket for the National Park. So we're on our way to the touristic office to purchase our tickets. You can either get them there or you can get them at the airport as soon as you land um, but those are the only two places so don't start going around the island and trying to go in to see the Easter Heads right so, so that otherwise you won't be able to do it. Okay? If you need to buy a ticket for the National Park, come up to that Cruz Verde pharmacy and it's hidden away in its corner. So if you didn't buy it in the airport, this is where you need to come from. It says Bolatera on it, but it's very hidden away. So there you go. Okay, so we finally got our tickets to enter the National Park. Uh, it costs $80 each for us adults and uh, age 7 to 12 is $40 but under 7 thankfully is free because it's quite a lot really um, to pay especially because it costs so much to come to the island and stay on the island to eat on the island everything is quite expensive so uh, that was at least one saving grace for us and we're now gonna go to our first stop which is Oronga I'm at Ruin.
ruins and I'm going to be showing you all of the hills, the ruins, the statues and everything. I'm going to be showing you right now. All right, here we are at our first stop, our first main stop, which is Oronga. So we've got to show our tickets, and this is one of the places that you can only visit once with your ticket. They will stamp it, and then you won't be able to come here again unless you buy another ticket. Oronga. Hello. Buenas. I think that's more new. More new is all we need. Moana. Make way, make way. Make way, make way. Down low, button low. All we need. The dance are practicing. We're down to one inch or so. <laughs> Tradition is our mission, so we want to best so much. Hey! Just got to get ready, that's all we need. Here comes the day, I want to look around. This is much to do as where we are, where we are. Approaching one of the most amazing sites on Easter Island called Vanu Raraku, uh, which is basically like a big hill with loads of heads of different animals, some that have fallen, some that are still um, erected, and I believe that they have been restored as well, so they're some of the best ones. You can just see it from a distance now, but we are getting close. So we've just entered Ranu Baraku. Very exciting. Because it looks spectacular from a distance. Hello rooster. This is one of the other ones that you can only visit once on your national park ticket. There's toilets and a restaurant here. Next stop, Tongariki. All right, here we are at Anakina, which is the Easter heads that are on the beach. And there's a very vivid carving or statue thing here. Very vivid, brought back some bad memories. Yeah, I know. Anyway, here we go to Anakina. Let's go and see these Moais. So we're staying in a nice hostel in Easter Island and we have these two friends that come out with us everywhere we go. We walk around, after our dinner we go for a nice evening stroll 
and these two dogs follow us everywhere. It's great fun. And I haven't even like learned their names yet, but they just I think one's Osu. Osu! I don't know what the other one is. But there's about five dogs in total. For miles and they'll just be right behind us walking. It's hilarious. But very nice. No, I don't think they are. <laughs> you end up adopt. Uh, well, they say that the dogs adopt you. They just come around with you around the Easter Islands. They're quite cute, really. Harmless, sweet. They're everywhere. Okay, Emiliano, this way. You come to the Easter Islands and you want somewhere to eat, but you don't fancy just your usual kind of grilled fish or obviously seafood's great on Easter Islands, but if you just fancy a dirty munch, come to Tubu. It's a great place which we just ate at and the portions are huge. So the completos or ass as Chilians call it, it's like, a, it's like a hot dog, but you get it with like sausage or chicken or beef, like chopped up into it, and loads of toppings, their hamburgers are ginormous, everything is really good, great service, and they do this amazing Chilean drink as well called Borgogna, um, which is a red wine with strawberry juice and fresh strawberries and sugar. So if you come to Easter Island, make sure you come and enjoy a lovely meal at Double.